Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. I'm here once again in Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, and it is time for the new comic books of the week. Are you ready? Because I am, so ready or not, here they come. Issue number four of Adventures of the Super Sons. You know you love it. You know you're going to grab it. Stop wasting time. Also, Guardians of the Gal- Ask Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number two. All right, so Undead Thor versus the not-so-undead Angela. And we've got this one. This one might be the second one that I read this week. Just because. Batman number 58 uh, with the Penguin. This looks like an amazing storyline. Also, previews. You start to find out what's going on with Bane in the background. Okay. Blackbird. Issue number one was amazing. Here's issue number two. Can't wait. Uh, Bully Wars. Issue number three. It's one of those weeks, guys. Uh, Okay. Not getting this, but you can if you'd like. I won't be reviewing this. Uh, Sabrina. Uh, there's only one dollar issue number one so i don't know if she's ever been a comic book before some of you guys check it out the netflix series what ifs issue number 26 of the champions with the dungeons and dragons eyes characters it looks like potentially new powers for our, our boy sam alexander there hopefully hopefully death of the inhumans issue number five of five so this is supposed to round a whole bunch of stuff up donnie cates uh, has a picture of a dead dog on the front that doesn't seem so uh unfamiliar Okay, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. Death Orb, issue number two. Don't know what else to say about that. Uh, Here we go. One of the best books going. Doctor Strange, issue number seven by Mark Wade. Pure pure sex in a bottle, man. Or in a Mylar bag with a cardboard backing. Anyway, so (laughs) issue number 46 of Green Arrow. I'm looking forward to this one also. Uh, See this uh, Citizen character? This probably will be the first book that I'm reading this week, Green Lantern, issue number one, by Grant Morrison. So looking forward to that big time. Uh, this might be issue uh, the third issue that I read this week, uh, issue number eight of The Incredible, uh, the Immortal Hulk. Uh, how the hell is he going to get out of this, man? Wow. <laughs> so uh, no prize if anybody can remember the song that's that goes, uh, everybody ends up here in bottles. Uh, issue number five of Infinity Wars, five of six. So we're going to start rounding up a bunch of stuff, and uh, I'm, I'm actually very curious where this is going to go. Okay, uh, variant cover, because that's what I'm getting. Justice League, issue number 11. Um, let's see where Drowned Earth is going, man, because this is amping up to be an amazing story. Marvel Knights, issue number one. Okay, let's see what they can do with this. I'm, I'm looking forward to the 20th anniversary. Nightwing, issue number 52. Scott Lobdell, he's been doing a good job, man. Let's see what he does with this story as it continues. Okay, Outer Darkness, issue number one. I don't know what to make of this. It's uh, Skybound. Skybound, yeah, they're doing a couple new stories, so let's see if this one's any good, huh? All right, uh, here we go. Runaways, issue number 15. Um... (laughs) It's it's a comic book you either like or you don't. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Uh, Sparrowhawk, issue number two of five. All right, let's see what this one's going to be all about, because this one looks good. This one actually looks uh, really good. I enjoyed issue number uh, one. Uh, came out at the same time that Bully Wars 2 came out. Came out at the same time that a lot of these, uh, they're keeping up with the schedule. That's what I'm looking forward to. Anyway, <laughs> um, issue number three of Spider-Geddon. Issue number three. Uh, That's the thing that's killing me. I don't know how good that's going to be. We'll see. Anyway, guys, don't forget, uh, Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. You might want to join the Facebook group because I got something uh, interesting coming up. Okay. Uh, Star Wars, Han Solo, Imperial Cadet. Issue number one of, I believe, five. So I'm going to give it a shot. Hopefully it doesn't shoot back. Okay, uh, issue number one of Suicide Squad Black Files. You know i got to be reading this because that is Gentleman Ghost on the front, and that is the, like the best Hawkman villain ever. Uh, typhoid Fever X-Men. Well, There's a kind of a one-shot. There's a bunch of Typhoid Fever books out. I think five of them are going to come out. This is the second one coming out. This is the one with the X-Men. Weapon X, issue number 25. Let's see what they can do with this. And I got one more to show you guys. One more to show you. X-Men Red. All right, that's issue number 10. Yes, issue number 10. I think they're only going to one more issue after this. I'm not sure. Uh, I think that's what I saw in Comixology. Anyway, 
So we got all those comic books. Guys, don't forget, I am right here in Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. A uh, day before these comic books come out and the collectibles and the trades, which I'm flashing a whole bunch of them right now across the screen so you could see them. Uh, and on top of that, got a couple more to show you. Now, what do we got here? Uh, but now, let's, let's hold off those for a moment and let's show you a couple more. We got the Justice League hardcover and the... Uh, Batman Gates of Gotham Deluxe Edition by Snyder and Higgins. Uh, these these guys right here, man, these are in hardcover. Boom. That just came out this week. Also, this is an interesting one. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the official guide. So if you're interested in seeing, I'm not as, but if you're interested in seeing this um, this movie, can you even call it a movie? Whatever, it's going to be on the big screen. Here's the official guide. All right, Superhero Adventures. How you doing? Liking this. Nice and thick. Whole bunch of good stuff. Is this in color? Yes, this is in color. And this is chibi-esque art. Loves it. Okay. Whoa, what the? <laughs> Lockjaw has a, a snake or a dragon. Not sure, but pretty cool. Uh, I like those kinds of books. They're fun. Um, and The Flash. This is a confidential. The Secret Files of Barry Allen. This looks like it's from the TV series. So, psh, is what it is. Okay, there's also a couple more, and here's the reason why you need to join the Facebook group. Uh, what do you call it? Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles Facebook group. It's right up there. Because there's going to be a uh, local comic book store day coming up, and if you want all the details for that, keep watching the Facebook group. All those details are going to uh, show up there. There are going to be special covers, exclusive covers. All right? Here's Gideon Falls hardcover. There's going to be the, look at this, guys, Liam Sharp, Brave and the Bold, all right? Here's a special hardcover edition right here. It's going to be exclusive for local comic book stores on that day. So happy they're doing that. Here's Exo Man Award, Deluxe Edition, also hardcover. Whoo! I don't know what the heck this is all about, but Rick and Morty, <laughs> he's playing Operation with himself. Anyway, um, yeah, a whole bunch of good stuff. There's actually going to be a whole bunch more stuff, and you make sure you pay attention to the Facebook group, Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles, in order to see all the good stuff they're going to be showing. So now, let's also take a look at some of the uh, collectibles, shall we? Okay, so we got a whole bunch of pops over here. Betty Boop. We got uh, Wolfman. That's pretty cool, man. Wolfman. How you doing? Uh, more Wolfman. Okay, this. This actually looks like my favorite thing this week. I'm not entirely sure, but look at this. This is the uh, the case for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Look at this back here, man. This is 20 bucks, or excuse me, 40 bucks US, $52 Canadian. All right, you got all this good stuff in here from Newt Scamander. You got his wand down here. You got his... Uh, uh, inspired notebook you got sound activation you got wizard mode and muggle mode if you guys remember the uh the movie he had the wizarding mode and he had the uh the muggle mode so that's actually pretty cool i'm digging on that it's it's a nice soft pleathery type uh cushioning case uh i don't know if those yeah those do actually lock in some way shape or form uh leather ish maybe it's actual leather i don't know the the case like this is actually cool this is solid i really like this oh and there's the thing to actually uh spin it this is really cool I i'm loving that uh, i got the flash down here we got link up here what is this is this dr strange it's dr strange all right we got some deadpool over here what is this uh half scale resin bust so it's half the size of a normal human head okay and uh Okay, Jack Skellington, that's uh, Nightmare on, on Before Christmas or something like that. Yeah, uh, here's, is this Maleficent? I don't know. Yes, it is. It actually says Maleficent. I got that wrong a couple weeks ago. Somebody's like, hey, you dumb dumb. <laughs> we got Chucky in here, this little horror thing. Open Sesame. You shut open. And uh, this is actually cool. I was just talking about this with somebody earlier. It's Chucky. He's got a knife, a little chibi looking guy, and his, uh, his little voodoo doll there. That's pretty cool, man. Or is that doll? You can pretend that's doll man. I'm just saying. Okay, got a couple of these things, Lee W things. Oh, hey, check this out. You got uh, Ultron. So this will actually go. This is like a seven or eight inch. I think this is like an, yeah, from the Marvel Studios, the first 10 years. These actually do line up with your standard um, 
stuff in here. They do line up with your standard Marvel Legends figures. Uh, these are, of course, the ones without the Build-A-Figures, but whatever, you know, a whole bunch of them in here. There's Ultron's head if you want. <laughs> That's perfect. But, um, yeah, so these do actually line up with them. Again, none of these actually have the uh, Build-A-Figure, but it is what it is. Got a bunch of the Star Wars uh, Black Edition stuff coming in. You got, if you want to make your baby into a Borg, if you have a baby, you can make it into a Borg. You can have a baby Borg or Borg baby. Uh, you decide how that's actually going to work. Okay, got a replica of the Enterprise. That's the, um, not the Shatner one, the Picard one. Yep, there's his face on it. Bang, that's the Enterprise D? C or D? I think it's the Enterprise D. Here we go. We got a little Batman, Batmobile thing. I don't know if this actually comes with a figure. For all 8-inch uh, action figures, superhero figures not included. Okay, so good to know. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, these are the X-Men figures. We had Jubilee and Wolverine before. Now we've got Beast and Cyclops. They both come in this one. Uh, extremely easy snap fit. So you could just build them, and this is in general what they're going to look like. That's not bad at all. So if you want some uh, cheap scale type uh, models, you know, not the really expensive ones, you get two of them for one hit in there. That's not bad. Can't Hard to complain about that. Here's a little Bulma figure here. What is this? The cutest. So that's uh, Picard as a Borg. Star Trek Discovery. Oh, here's the Mirror Universe one. That's actually kind of cool. The Terran Empire. Okay, that's that's actually really cool. I like that. Um, what is this thing? Oh, uh, the movie version of Stormbreaker. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of different symbols here. There's the black label. I know there's another one in here, too. Here we go. Star Trek Discovery, the cadet badge, the black badge. A whole bunch of badges. So you can get badgy. I don't know what that means. Okay. You got it over here. Not the cousin variety. You got Catwoman on the DC cover girls. You got the Joker. This is the Mark Hamill cartoon version. Digging it. Here's a Harley up here, also from the Batman animated series, her origin. Uh, One-tenth inch scale. Uh, vinyl, Oogie Boogie, and Behemoth. I don't know. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas also. Cool. And this guy right here, look at this. Here we go. This is the really big one this week. The Superman. Look at that. That is just awesome. I love when DC makes these big... Oh, and that's a Jim Lee one, too. Yeah. Yeah, these are going... I think there's only two in the store. I don't know how many is in your store. And here's a Nightmare on Elm Street 4, the Dream Master. I think uh, James Tenney in the fourth uh, called himself the Dream Master at one point because he's the fourth. So that was actually really funny. I don't know how many people got that. So I don't know what this is actually going to entail. Um, oh, that's probably it. So it's an actual figure. And he is ugly. He comes with a hat you could put on. You could interchange his glove and his hand and all that good stuff. So that's actually not too bad. Not too bad. All right. So uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, wait. No, there's more. There's a He-Man version of Jason Voorhees, five and a half inch action scale. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're kidding me. Is that a bone? No, that's an axe. Okay, so... Jason Voorhees, the Barbarian, and I don't know how many of these other ones are here. It's perfect that they got freaking Pinhead in here, too. Okay, that should be fun. Ah, it's me. I know. I fooled you, right? Anyway, guys, so that's going to be it for this week in comics for Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. And uh, again, don't forget to subscribe to the Facebook group, like and follow, all that good stuff, because there's going to be a whole bunch of announcements coming for local comic book day, stuff that is going to be store exclusive, stuff that's not going to be store exclusive. And right now, if there's anything that you want to order, it's pretty much going to be through the Facebook group. So there's that. Anyway, guys, that's going to be for me, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed. What are you looking at?